Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all well. Welcome to the live studio, um, and thank you for waiting there for us to go live. My name is Tony Derrick, and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft. And in today's studio, we're just going to play with some ink, which I always love. So, welcome to the live studio. For those of you who may be tuning in for the first time, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I know it's old hat and I say it every time, but we do have new viewers every time. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. We do love new faces and names and we do encourage you to come and get some inspiration from whatever area or from whatever genre it may be and take it away with you and create something amazing that you're super proud of and super proud of giving to somebody else a loved one. If it puts a smile on their face, we're all happy. So, hi Joe, Julie, Rosie, Paul, Amanda, Susan, Marilyn, Anne, Enid, lots of you on today. It's lovely to see you all. How's everybody doing? Before I get into it, is everybody okay? Size, weather's a bit... Everybody's okay though, other than that. Okay, well, you've come to the right place because um, you guys put a smile on my face every time you tune in, so thank you very much. It's been a really tough day today. We've been super, super busy, been chasing our tails all day, trying to get things in place for next year. You're probably thinking next week, no, next year. Uh, we're on time scales and we're just trying to get everything sorted. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a few days off over Christmas as a family, but we will see. Everybody's okay, that's brilliant. So in today's studio, I am gonna show you the new products that I'm launching on Create and Craft at six o'clock in the evening. Yep, Sunday, don't be drunk, don't be getting drunk and watching. Um, and it's some of our new secret garden products and I will quickly show you. I did do a Facebook Live, but I'm not gonna use all the products today in studio, just a few of the products. I appreciate most of you will have bought Craft Academy and are super excited about Monday for our Craft Academy launch which is going to be incredible. So there's 10 stamps and 10 stencils. So I do encourage you to go and have a look at our Craft Academy range. And the two that we're going to be using first is the lovely lady and gentleman with the lovely gown and the lovely coordinating stencil. You can watch the other show from the other day that's showing you all of the products. That never goes away. But in today's studio, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of our secret garden collection. And then we're going to use some of our lamination trees. And we're going to create two pretty, pretty cards. Very, very simple though, guys. And if you don't have the products, please don't switch off because you may have some tree stamps in your stash that can create a very simplistic look or a similar look to what we're going to do in studio today. So please don't switch off. Anything else I need to tell you about? There's so much going on, isn't there? You know, have you all got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee? I have. Also, Amanda's asking why are the new paint pads not on the site yet, Tony? We haven't had a chance to load everything on, unfortunately. Uh, but they will be on, sweetheart. I promise you they will be on. Keep an eye out. Somebody will find them and pop them on Facebook, I'm sure. So um, keep an eye out, they will be going live at any point. Uh, I have been chasing my tail all day, so I've just not had a, an opportunity to um, do any of those things. So if you have been waiting for a call or a message from me, I do apologise, but still all the same, we will get it sorted. Nobody's going to you know, get hurt if we don't do something. Everybody's hunky-dory, should we say. Um, excuse the pun. So let's show you some lovely products. Hey, so these, if you're feeling a bit which is what I'm feeling, if I'm completely honest today. As much as I'm smiling, I'm feeling a little bit... And I've just eaten an apple, right? And I've just bitten into it, and it, the core in the centre was rotten. So that was like, ah, oh, has anybody ever done that before? And then I thought, oh, I wonder if I've eaten something I shouldn't have. Maybe the thing that's made it rotten inside in... But anyway. So let's show you what's in the show on Sunday. And I hope you can join me at six o'clock on Sunday. So I'm gonna be launching the lovely Secret Garden collection. And there's three stamps and three dies. And they are huge, again, so they're gonna fill those cards really, really easily. But these are great for your painting. So if you think, if you do like your simplistic cards with the painting and things like that, then these are really, really gonna suit you. But you have your outline dies to decoupage up to create those 3D embellishments. You can hang the baskets, put the pom pots in the foreground and the background. Everybody's laughing now at my apple core. <laughs> 
I know. I'm not going to eat another for a while. I do actually love apples. So I've got this one, just keep smiling. So you can see from the front there, you get all of that lovely detail and then you get the coordinating dies which go around all of the individual elements on there. So that is just keep smiling. I have got boards for TV so you'll be able to see in detail what you're going to be able to create. And then we have this one as well. So this is Every Day You Grow and this is beautiful. The door on here is so, so pretty. You'll be able to make it into a Christmas card, make a bright red door, maybe in your gold embossing powders. Very, very um, cool for gentleman cards. So we, so we, you know, we struggle with our gents cards. These are perfect for that. And if you do like painting, lots of open spaces, you can be very loose with your colours, create something quite, quite stunning. So when you turn it around, you can see you get the outline for around all of that detail on the door and the two elements in the foreground. And then the last one, beautiful destination so this is like a street where you can walk up the hill towards that destination you get all of the lovely pots and hanging baskets some lovely sentiments in there too and the great thing about this one is we've managed to get all of the dies in there so every die in there cuts out all of the elements the only elements that it doesn't cut out is the words but as you can see from all the spots my apologies this one doesn't look like it's got oh it has got a spot of yellow on there so the ones with the spots are the ones with the dies so you'll be able to create a lovely focal point on a drive or a path or a scene or something like that. So is everybody okay? So Cheryl's thanking Tim for answering emails today. Thank you, Tim. He's giving a thumbs up. These are not the Academy stamps Enid. These are what I'm launching over on Create and Craft on Sunday. So Craft Academy is part of Stamps by Me and we did it for the during the lockdown and the pandemic sort of. Um, area and because we've gone into that second lockdown we're going to do it again um, on a much smaller scale this time so it's just what happens here in studio for me and for you guys so that's those three and then secondly we have our lovely trees now these are you can call them the lamination trees they layer up so you can spray them with water and create these beautiful blossom trees so you have simply beautiful um, kind people and mind kind of people I love the word kind. Make your own path. There is beauty in simplicity. So these are the pink ones. You can see the lovely dies and see how it's put together. These are ones we're going to use in studio today. So I'll just set that one aside. And then lastly, we're going to use this one, which is all that wonder. So you've got beautiful, beautiful, chunkier trees in these ones. But I'm going to make them autonomous today. So not all that wonder's lost. Let's have a look. If it's still in your mind, it's worth taking a risk. Absolutely. Grow from the inside. And again, you get your lovely dies, which cut out there, so you can see, and you get a matte and layer too. So if you want to pop them on some sparkly card and make some Christmas trees, you know, pop that lovely glistening on those lovely leaves. Put a sentiment underneath, you've got your Christmas cards good to go, haven't you? So there we go. So that's what's in the show. And then we have our fabulous 3D stencil. And I'm just going to show you the back of this one. So it comes in three parts and it makes this gorgeous, gorgeous 3D sort of tree effect. And this tree is what's going to sit behind your scenes and your doors if you want to. And, you know, you, traditional stencils are amazing, aren't they? So you can see there the depth in that tree. So you put the solid portion on here, sorry, here in the really, really light colour, the dark and then the brown for your tree stump and you get the, obviously that look over there in that little square box. So I hope that's okay. Wow, so people have already got their Craft Academy products, that's brilliant. So you're ready to go. So if you bought the ones that you really love, now you can sit back and just enjoy the studio every day or every other day, whatever we're gonna be able to do and um, craft along if you want to. So that's a great thing about it, isn't it? It's more about getting involved with each other, making new friends, because I know you all chat on our lovely Eureka fan page too. So, you know, just stay um, stay connected. It's it's It helps, just stay connected. So have we got our cup of tea ready? Shall we do some crafting? So I would encourage you to wait till the live hour for the products because Create and Craft will put some good discounts on for you and you'll also get your, probably your 10% off as well. 
ask if you are a club member. So wait till the live hour goes till the price comes down. So they're doing a pre-launch on Sunday at six, but the actual four day deal starts on Tuesday. So I'll be there Sunday, I'll be here Craft Academy Monday, and then a four day deal on the Tuesday. So let's craft, because that's what we love to do. My favorite thing. So first of all, I'm just gonna get some white cardstock here. And I'm just gonna pop, cut out the trees. So I've got the two trees from the green and the two trees from the pink. I've just got the outline dies here. So I'm just gonna pop them onto this white cardstock. Now, I have been playing with these trees and I found the best way is to cut the trees first. Now, normally I say to you, it's personal preference, but I have honestly found that cutting the tree first on these has really helped me. I found it really difficult to put the bark on and get it level. My tree looked like it was ready to fall down. It looked like it had been in the wind for a year. So um, cut the tree dies first and then do the stamp on top. And I'll show you a little technique as to how um, you can keep it within the page and stamp several times so you're not worried thinking, well, if it's die cut, I can't hold it with my magnet. Um, so I'm just gonna run these ones through. So the invisible ink pads will be available from probably Sunday. As soon as I get a second to get them on, they need to be counted in the building, you see, as well. And because of, obviously, the circumstances, we're not allowed to touch them for 48, 72 hours. So as soon as we've got through all of that, then we will um, get them loaded on for you. So super, super easy. I've already gone ahead and cut a few bits so we're not... Um, concentrating on just die cutting and then we're going to have some fun with a little bit of ink and show you how to create some gorgeous gorgeous three-dimensional trees very similar to our lamination effect so if you did like lamination and you don't like the secret garden elements and it's not something you'll use then the trees might work alongside you know your flowers and the gowns put a lovely tree behind the lovely ladies watercolor so let's just show you what's going on here so let's just set this aside so, just pop our trees out here. So, within the trees, you get the lovely second outline as well. So, if you want to put some sparkle card behind, you can do that too. So, let's just push these to one side. So, I'm going to do two cards today, okay? Um, if you're making one, make three. Obviously, I can't make three and five, but if you are doing them at home, make sure you do more than one because you've got all your stash out. And I've seen a lot of you have started to do it, which is good. You stash, build your stash up for friends and family. So you've got a card ready to go all of the time. So what I'm going to do is, um, because I've die cut before, and if I was to pop these in my Eureka look like this, if I came to stamp, I wouldn't be able to hold them because, look, my magnet would get in the way of the stamping element here. Can we see that there? So if you know, so if I tried to put my stamp on, this would be in the way, it'd be an absolute nightmare. So I found that do just getting your recess of your card here and holding that in place, like so, and then popping them all back in the hole like a jigsaw. Um, and then if it picks it up or it moves, you need to just pop it back in its recess and then it's back in the same place. Like so. So we're good to go now. So let's just grab our stamp. So we're going to do, I'll do this, this is all for one card. We're going to have four trees on one card. Okay, so I'm going to be using the stamps from this collection. And you'll see when you take them out of the packaging, I just moved the extra dies. Let's just get, let's just get them both out and I'll explain how easy it is straight away. Excuse me, I've just got a nasty, nasty itch. Ow. So, as you feel, if you look at the back of the packaging here, it is really, really self-explanatory. So, you've got sort of this so heavier solid portion, then the lighter solid portion, and then your green. And the same concept over on the pink here, the solid, the less solid, and then your lovely um, green part. So, when you get your stamps and you look at them, you can see all of the elements are actually on the stamp. Now, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, which one goes with which, I have no idea. What we've done is we've put 
these what they're together on the stamp set so they're all together at the top and these three are for the bottom and the same for this one too so you have all of your top parts here and the top bottom parts here we haven't put like the piece for this part down here and the other bit up there they should be together on your carrier sheet okay so if you just go with that concept it's gonna work so first of all let's do our solid portion on each design so I'm going to get the heaviest solid part on each one and I'm just going to line it up so I know that that one goes on there. So I can see instantly what's happening there. So the next solid portion for the second tree is this one. I know that you're going to absolutely love these trees. I know it. I just know it. <laughs> so that's the solid portion out of the, that one. And then we have our two from our pink. So I'm just going to take the solid portions from the pink. And again, if you don't line them up exact, you know, it's not the end of the world. Then the solid portion for this one. So let's go those colours first. And if you close it like so and then you pick it up and it picks that white, white card stock up, if it picked that up now, it wouldn't be a drama because if everything's held in place. I'll just pop it back in that slot there like a jigsaw piece and then I know we're good to go. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create a bit of a black and white card today. First, so I have... Um, two distress inks here I have black soot and hickory smoke and I'm going to use the grey one first okay so I'm going to ink all of the designs on here in this hickory smoke oops oh look what I've done what a nightmare so what I've done is I've got a carrier sheet stuck under here can we see this <laughs> oh I don't know Let's just clean the stamps and start again. I'm really into foliage and trees as well. I always have been though. So I think I'll get away with not taking them off. So I just have to line these ones back up, I'm sorry. Because I stuck them to that silly carrier sheet which was stuck to my door. Two things always get in the way, carrier sheets and magnets. It's like, where's my magnet? normally stuck to the table leg <laughs> so that's fine so I'll just pop that back in there so everything's in place so let's start again so we have our lovely hickory smoke so this is the grey tone so I'll just get some colour on here and you're not going to really see it until we um, get it onto that cardstock so let's give it a little spritz with some water. Give that card the chance to drink that ink. I'll have a, a little sup of my coffee. <laughs> oh bless you. You're all too kind. So let's open that up there. Whoops. So you can see, look at that already. How incredible is that? Just pop them back in. Get back in you. Let's make it a little bit darker. And let's just give them a little spray, another little spray. Not too much. Then we have our lovely first part. Can we see that there? How cool does that look? And you're probably thinking, okay. So for anybody who's not seen our lamination stamps before, they're a layering concept, but they're not like a layering concept that's already known. We've been doing this for about 11 years now, and it gives a really good watercolour finish card design, like very loose and very forgiving designs. They're absolutely incredible. So let's get rid of all of these off here. Pop them onto my carrier sheet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the second part of the design. 
so the less heavier part so if you're thinking well I'm not quite sure where this part of the stamp would go there's a detailed picture on the back here can we see it here so I know exactly that that's going to sit just on there like that so I'm just going to line that one up a little better make it a little bit higher so I'm happy with that one and then the next detailed part is this one for how the next one and this is why I did the die, I've just found it easier to do the die cuts first, I really did. So that's our second part, so that's the pink set of trees. Let's move that one out of the way. And let's bring our green one in. So the next solid part, which is this one. And then the next one. You're going to have so much fun with these. They're so enjoyable. Now, I'm not sure, so certain if I've got that one lined up, so I'm just going to grab my design here and I can see I had it upside down. There we go. This is going to be our shadow. So let's just pop these to one side. So for this one, I'm going to go the black. So this is going to give us that dimension. So we've got the grey sort of subtle tone in the back, and this time we're going to go black. So I'm just going to pick up all of those stamps. And I'm inking. Each stamp individually. You can buy direct from us here at Stamps By Me. The, ch the prices are cheaper at Create and Craft, but it is personal preference. So this is the black one. So I'm just giving it a bit of a spritz with some water, and this is where you're going to get that second sort of layer. So I'm just giving the card the chance to drink that ink. And this is where you get sort of your shaded trees, which are incredible. Now, I'm not going to make that any darker. I think that looks pretty enough. So I'm just going to dry my stamps. Always um, dry your stamps off with your stamp cleaning cloth or just a cloth in general before you pop them back on your carrier sheet. So let's pop these away then. And then we have our lovely trunks of our trees. I'm just going to line this one up. So again, I'm not certain which trunk goes with which tree. So I'm just going to take a look at the packaging. So this one goes on the dark one. Sorry, on the chunky one. Like so. And then this one goes on this one. So that's the big chunky green ones. Let's get our lovely pink ones. And I'm saying pink. When I'm saying pink, I'm referring to the pink packaging. The trees that are pink on the packaging. Just so you know. Because if you do just want to buy one, you know which ones I'm referring to. Or none at all. You might have some trees in your stash. I'm not encouraging everybody to overspend. Stamps by me. We have our everyday job creating craft where I'm there launching brand new products all of the time now. We do our own thing here in studio. We launch our own products as well. We do not expect you to buy all everything. I know some of you do like to and can, but, and I know that some of you can't. So please don't switch off saying, you know, it's just too much. It's just too much. We do not encourage you to overspend. We do just come and, come and say hi. Right, so I have all of the barks in there. And this time we're going to go true black because it's a black and white card. I'm going to stick with the black. Now, obviously, if you wanted to blend them out, um, you know, make them more watercoloured, you can do that. There's no rules with the lamination. They are very, very, very forgiving. And you get completely different results in every way that you do them. <laughs> 
Stephanie's put, I can understand why people hug trees, they are beautiful. <laughs> I'm just going to give them that second, you know, that second punch of colour, get a true black. So you can really see. Do they not look incredible or is it just me? I love them. <laughs> I hope you do too. So I'll just give these a blast off. I'm going to set them aside because we're going to do it all again but this time we're going to change the colour okay so let's just move these to one side and because we've got our recess waste we we'll just use it again so I hope did you like the idea of using the recess of your die cut I hope that's helped you know it it, it is difficult if you do the die cut first I always find so fingers crossed that's solves a couple of people's issues so I popped them back on my carrier sheet so I can start again <laughs> is that a, is that a joke they are growing on me <laughs> don't start because I know what you're like you all start bullying me telling me how you know what size is the box I'll never forget that you know never forget that so I've already gone ahead to save time, cut the die cuts. So I'm just going to pop them back into the recess. So this is a great thing about if you're making one card, make five. Do all the die cuts. You've got your recess card stock here. Pop them back in. Get your inks out. Do some several in black and white. Do several autonomous, several in pinks for your blossoms. And you really have got all the elements you need to make the most quickest, gorgeousest cards ever, ever, ever. So this time we're going to go autumnal. So I'm going to get the heavy parts again. And you can really see actually from the stamp design which are the heavier parts because there's more to them. So, and I think after you've done one you'll not need to look at the packaging. So that's the chunky tree. And I suppose, you know, if you pick the wrong one, it won't matter. I really don't think it'll matter. So let's pick up all of our lovely chunky parts. First of all, let's have a drink of coffee before it goes cold. What is it about the box? I'm not even saying so you've done that on purpose. <laughs> I'll let the ladies tell you. So the chunky part first, let's go... So I've got peeled paint and abandoned coral. We're going autonomous this time. So you've got your oranges and your earth tones and things like that. So I'm just patting some green all over. And I'm going to swap it up a little bit this time. We'll put some of that lovely orange in as well. Well, orange is coral. So let's give this a spritz. can see there we've got our lovely design coming together so that's that and then let's just clean our stamps I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself here I'm getting giddy so let's just clean the stamps and then let's move on to the next stage so make sure you pop them in the right place on your carrier sheet it is printed is the carrier sheet so you know exactly where to pop them back on and then let's try the next part. And I'm going to go totally green this time on this one. So let's just pop our second layer on that one. See, I just referred back to my packaging for that one. That's right, it was the right way. And then our chunky ones. Go back to that one. I 
and then the other one. And when I'm completely happy, I've got it in the right place. Then we'll pick them all up. Oh, and that's a good question. The size of each. In fact, I've got the scoreboard here, so let's just try. They're about, this one's three and a half inch, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So three and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So I'm going to use the peeled paint. So shall we do it this time but not spray it and just see if we get a different result? And I've even, I'm not swapping out the, I'm not doing two colour tone here, I'm just going to go one. Shall we just go straight away and see what it looks like just solid without a spray? And if we don't like it, I'll spray it. <laughs> and that one's moved. This one has actually moved and this one. That's my own fault, never mind. I'm going to still go with it, so I'm just going to ink it up again. I'm going to spray it this time, because I don't like it when it's not sprayed. There we go, you see the shading in there. Let's just bring this one back in, because it moved, and I am going to put it in place. And this one, because it moved. I'll take these two off because we're done with these though. And we'll just get these two in the right place so we'll have a little bit of extra foliage on these ones. And we will spray. There we go. So let's put our um, bark in place. And then we've got two cards to make. Which is super cool. So I'm going to go brown on these ones. So they do actually look like bark. the wrong one did you see that <laughs> so they're all in place hopefully straight as possible I promise you I have not been drinking I promise because I don't drink <laughs> and let's go um, brown with this one I'll just grab my brown ink pad wherever it may be here we go so I'm just going to use gathered twigs because obviously it's your traditional brown and I'm just going to stamp it up. Now I'm not going to spray this one because I would like it to be a defined tree stump. And we'll just make them a little bit darker. Now, are they not just the best looking trees in the world? <laughs> and, you know, despite me even getting those two stamps on the other side not lined up, I moved. They moved in the well. I was um, chatting too much and they still look amazing. So that's a credit to the designs, really. So let's pop all of our pieces out here.
So you can save that, but every time you cut one, you'll always have the recess outline, won't you? So it's not a great shake if you bin it, you'll have another one when you come to do a die cut. So we've got our lovely um, shadow sort of grey tones, and then we have our lovely summery designs there. So let's create two cards. So let's just set these aside for now. So we are going to need a sentiment too. What I am going to do, excuse me, what I am going to do is we'll do one card at a time. So let's do the grey one. So I have a piece of white card stock here. And I have the carrier sheet from the stamp. So normally we put the ink on our glass mat and we put the card into the glass mat. Well, today we're just going to put it on here. It gives you a different um, look on the back of your card. So uh, probably a lot of you already do this. I think it's called something like smooching, smoo paper smooching, something like that. So I'm just going to pop some of the ink onto my carrier sheet here. So you can see the carrier sheet here. You're not going to see it when I pop it on my mat though, unfortunately, because it's clear. But you can see it there. So I'm just going to pop some colour onto here. So I've used Peacock Feathers and Mermaid Lagoon. So can we, I'll hold it up. You're not going to see it. It's fine. So I'll give it a spray. So you end up with like a puddle. Can we see the puddle? You can see the puddle now. So I'm just going to bring my card into play here. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop it onto the cardstock and create like a bit of a cloudy sort of design, if that makes any sense at all. I'm just going to push that ink up and around. Nothing fancy. I've got a drip here, which is frustrating because I didn't want the drip, but hey-ho. So you end up with like this sort of design. So if you're maybe not so confident in um, popping it onto your glass mat and picking it up that way, this is an alternative. You do get a different result, I would say. I'm just going to mop up some of that water from there. I would have preferred it without the drip, but you know, it's okay. So let's dry this one off. This is normal cardstock, it's not watercolour. And that's why you've got that little bit of texture in there too. There we go. So I will not do a background on the other one so you can see two stacked styles of card, one with the wash behind and one without, and then you can decide for yourself which is going to work for you. So now I'm going to place my trees. So I'm going to have some fun as to how I'm going to do a sort of collaboration with this whole bunch of exciting trees. So I'm going to do some flat. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. Now you don't have to use all three, all of them, remember that, but it is good if you can get into the habit of creating a few. So I always place and enjoy placing before. So I'm gonna go there. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to grab my glue. So now I would take a picture on my phone and then place it back in place because I need to pop a sentiment on there. So I'm just going to grab my Eureka. And I'm just going to place it back into my Eureka. And I'm just going to choose a lovely sentiment. So I've got, it is, let, let's have a look at this one. So these are the ones that are in the same tree set design. I'm 
and I'm just going to stamp this straight in black. So um, I'm sorry to hear, Tracy, about your loss, sweetheart. We are thinking about you. And Roxy Lee as well. It's tough, it's tough, but you know, we have to stay together, stick together. And it's great that you've had, you've been able to tell us because now you'll get some little, I know it's not a lot, but you'll get some support from people that care. So I'm just going to stamp this sentiment under here. Like so. And then we can go ahead and build our scene. So let's do this one flat. And this one flat too. Give them a second to grab. Can't remember how I had it now. Was it there? And then what we'll do is we'll pop some pads behind some of them too to give that dimension. But how simple and easy is this card? Really, really, really lovely. So we'll pop this one here, look. It's starting to look like a bit of a cluster, isn't it? And again, it looks pretty, doesn't it? But it's still not mounted on its card yet. So. So we have our lovely 3D design on there. Can you see the dimension there? Really, really pretty. So let's get this one. I'll just set this one aside, shall we? And shall we do our lovely pink one? This time we'll not put the wash behind. Shall we just pop some splashes behind? We'll use the same sentiment. So let's go with the similar colours. So I'm just popping some of the colour onto my mat here. Just grab my paintbrush and spray it with some water. Let's get some dimension on the back of this card. So just some splashes. So instead of the block of colour like the blue one, this time we're just creating a little bit of a backdrop to the back of the card. And you can really go to town because it dries back to pretty much nothing anyway. And I'm going to go uh, with the green too, which is also incorporated in the colour of our trees. So I do like splats. So there we go. <laughs> so let's just clean that one. And then we'll dry this one with our gun. So the blue I'm using is Tombow. The Tombow blue. It's like a fast grab. we go so let's grab our lovely like pretty trees so again let's create shall we go for a different setup this time so let's go tall or we could just go two let's have a look shall we go like that this one so we haven't got three in a cluster we've got sort of let's do that 
In fact, let's do our sentiment first. Giddy Kipper. Let's swap out the sentiment. And then we've got variation on the cards and then at the end you can tell me which ones you like. Kind people are my kind of people. There's our lovely sentiment. So let's go flat with this one. And then I'll just grab my some more pads. Here we go. we pad this one too or should we do it flat let's pad this one just for difference i don't think it really matters and look shall we do it so it looks like it's coming across the front of there no do it a little bit higher up so let's get this on our card this one could go on the envelope. You know the spare one we have? We could pop that on our, the front of our envelope. So we have the coordinating card with a beautiful envelope. So if you've got spares, that's a good idea. I would say it's a good idea. So let's do the, um, the pink one first. Hopefully this is going to work for me. So I've just got a piece of red here to complement the coral in our trees. I'm just going to do this down the edge because I've got that 3D piece have an arm we'll pop some glue on too so that's this one and then we'll just set this aside Let's do our grey one. So again, top folding note card onto some grey, just to complement the colour in the trees. I'm coming towards the end. <laughs> I have to say these guns are, the Sticks 2 guns are absolutely amazing. They're probably the best ones I've had. So we have two there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off with some pretty sequins just to give it sparkle. I mean you don't have to do the sequins, you can use your sparkle pens but I just like a little bit of sparkle in and around so I'll pop some on the tree and around the tree. So I'll put two at the top there then one on the tree. Make sure you pop them on the right way. Pop 
bum na na mo pop bun here. And I always like to do it so the sequins are half under your artwork and half on show, so you know those that don't look like they're just floating. And we'll pop one just, just here. They don't stick to your fingers because I've got super sticky fingers from that tape gun. So I'll leave that there and we'll pop some on here too. And again, I'm just using the clear because the clear shows the colour through, but it just gives that added sparkle. stick everywhere but on the card there we go <laughs> they're all sticking to me I think I'm full of static <laughs> I think we'll leave that with no we're gonna have to last two that's if they don't stick to me this is the most difficult part of the card adding the sequins hey <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop that one on so it's half under the cat half under the tree and half on there we go What do we think? Do we like them? So you could cast a shadow underneath the tree stump so it looks like so it doesn't look like they're floating so much, but you know, personal preference. Which do you like best? Which colour? So pretty. Thank you, Charlotte. That's very kind. Both gorgeous, both beautiful, fab, fab. Oh, thank you everyone. So um, these are going to be featuring on the show on Sunday. Uh, they are in a bundle price, which is incredible. So there will be a discount. So, you know, if you are interested, you know where to go. A couple of things to tell you about then. So Carly is on uh, studio tomorrow. She's done a lovely pre-record for you with the lovely iMala products. Claire is also um, doing a pre-record and will be on Sunday as well. And then you've got me on Sunday at 6 p.m. So lots and lots of inspiration for you. So if you're a little at a little bit of a loss and thinking, do you know what, I just don't want to craft, I just want to watch, then obviously you've got a lot going on here at Stamps by Me. So I hope that's okay. No, people can't decide. Ooh, ooh, ooh. decide, decide. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon. I'm going to go get the wee boy now, get into our pyjamas and have some tea and chill out for a bit. That's the day I've had today. I'm sure a lot of you can um, relate. So have a lovely evening and I will see you all on Sunday at 6pm. But don't forget Carly and the lovely Claire. I'll see you all later, guys. Take care. Bye.